Hello, it's very nice to see you again. I'm wearing my brand new sweater, which I got for my birthday, to show you some the practical methods how you can deal with your money problems or how can you make more money problems. As far as the scenario, of course, is that you are working abroad, so you probably have a home currency and a foreign currency. Hopefully, after a while, you will have savings, as I do. Beware, I'm not giving you any investment tips because I'm the one who needs them. But there are some good methods which I figured out and some funny things which I want to show to you. And start with a regular bank, my bank HSBC. And after Brexit, you know, our interest rates kind of fell down. That way, it is really funny for me to read a booklet like this where they are describing how will your savings interest rate change. And here you can clearly see that we have a brilliant method if you have £1,000 deposit after one year so 12 months you can have 1000 pounds and 10 pence so um yeah i don't know how much these booklets cost to to produce but i guess it's more why would you be advertising this account at all it's just but never mind let's go to the next one if we are at the topic let's talk a bit about exchange rates with regular banks you know that it is good for them because they can play around and that way the margin is all theirs. So in Hungary, if I have like 1000 forint and I want to pay for pounds, then the conversion rate is going to be the one uh, which makes the revenue for the banks. But here in the UK, if you have a sterling based account, you are paying abroad, you will have no sterling fee at my particular bank. It's, it's small thing, but small things adding up, getting big. And there are banks who are applying non-sterling fee as well and who are giving a really bad exchange rate. So that way they can make money on both. Please be aware that some of the solutions what I'm showing you now is just UK based and working in the UK itself. I'm sorry for that. Especially in London, this fintech thing is quite popular topic. One part of it is this card Monzo. This can be considered a startup. They are building an electronic only bank. For the starters, they had just prepaid cards with this really nice color. What I like in those is the application. It's brilliant. It shows all your spendings with location information, categorizes all your expenses and gives monthly spending charts. But the sweetest thing is the debit card actions. You can top up with it, see your pin code and the all time coolest, freeze your card. If you lose it, as I did, you can make it unusable in seconds and this is reversible so you don't need a new one if you find it you can even request a replacement from here which arrived in two working days for me free of charge you can have cash and you can pay anywhere around the world without any additional fees this is a no-brainer for me i'm using this card wherever right now i cannot show you the card exactly but there's something else called vswap and on vswap you can exchange on the card itself with the application uh, which currency you want to use but actually i found it more expensive and it's a bit of a hassle to plan ahead which currency you will need and how much so i i, I like this way really the next scenario is sometimes you need to transfer money home and in the regular bank system it's quite pricey and the exchange rate again <laughs> it's not going to be the best so we have another solution for this which is called TransferWise. Basically what TransferWise does is that sometimes you are trying to send pounds. By the way, this is a 50 pound note, which I'm using for demonstration purposes. I haven't seen anyone using this on the street. If you want to send home some pounds and basically convert it into Hungarian foreign, but if someone is trying to do the same, but the different direction, he wants to send some foreigns and convert it to pounds, then, oh, guess what? The currencies can stay in the same country. TransferWise is basically doing this. So connecting the local accounts and doing some magic in the background, I don't understand and I don't really care about it, but it works and you can have a lot better conversion rates and a lot smaller fees by using TransferWise. And I think it works globally, so not just in the UK. That's good. You know, after coming to the UK, I realized that I'm 
Although I'm barely using cash, this box is full of coins. So how much does it weigh? That's a question. So it weighs 1.5 kg. What is your guess? How much money can I get if I return this? We have machines where you can put all your coins in and probably it will convert you into notes or maybe directly into your account. Let's check this out. I would definitely like to take you into the bank, but usually they are confiscating my camera. So I'm trying to be clever this time because I'm really curious about the process myself as well. So see you there. Well, it took way more time than I expected it, but at least I finished it, so I have 76 more pounds. Great. Actually, I thought that it will be more, but all in all, what was the most interesting is that it's kind of subculture to return coins, because there was a girl with a shoebox full of coins, and I waited for her for like half an hour. At least I had a sneak peek to it. Well, and now let's see the last and most interesting... <laughs> Dear friends, viewers, today is a special day. I guess you all remember what happened 551 days ago. Yes, I took my one-way flight from Budapest to London, finalizing my relocation with the last move. I was determined to start a new life in which I pictured myself in a new job with a reasonable salary and comparable living standards. You had the chance to follow me during this journey and I'm really grateful for this for each and every one of you. You, my small audience or my big family. You built up this pressure which didn't let me abandon my video project. During this period of my life, I've learned and experienced things I couldn't have done anywhere else. This solely would be enough for London to remain an always special place in my life. As a pleasant addition to this, I think I've met all of my goals. I have a decent job, room in a nice flat, a quality lifestyle, from basically nothing. I've done my part in the process of making Britain great again, which supposedly will last for a while. After achieving all of this, the feeling of settling down just creeped on me and made me realize that there is more to my life. These thoughts led to the decision of leaving London behind. The future may look uncertain, but after watching this video, one thing became entirely clear for me. Gyere haza, fiatal! Mert Magyarország a bicikli útnak az a része, ahol nem kell tekerni. Hereby I announce that I will start my cycling from London to Budapest on the 15th of September. To make it as exciting for you as it is for me, 
I will upload videos every single day. Please follow me on my adventure and meet me when I finish my great, great trip in the first week of October at Hero Square, Budapest. Please support my ride by watching these videos which gives me that extra boost not to give up and finish this video project as well. There is nothing else to say but Akush is out.